This is episode 26. Your coach, Helen Yuskovic. Welcome to Your Coach, Helen Yuskovic. This is Chew Up Tuesday's tip where I provide you your mantra that you need for this week. Having the right mindset is the first key to success with life, career, money, and love. Are you ready for this week's focus point? P.S. To ensure that you never miss your session, hit subscribe on your podcast app now. It's okay to say no. Sometimes in life, we've been brought up to people please to ensure that we're liked to be the nice guy and sometimes what happens in life is that you become a yes person you start saying yes to everyone and to everything to the point where you start to shut down to the point where you begin to get tired and start to feel exhausted because you're constantly giving and giving and giving and you're not getting that in return people start to view you as the yes person They start to take advantage or use the fact that you will always say yes to their advantage. Now I'm not saying to become mean or cruel, but all I'm asking is that you start to fill your own cup up. If there is something that you don't wholeheartedly 100% full body yes want to do then all you have to do is say no it's okay to say no I also learnt this the hard way because I have a beautiful mother that says yes to everyone and tries to help everyone And in return, I grew up thinking that that was the way it should be. So I became a yes person until eventually I felt drained. And after much research, I realized that the most happiest and successful people in the world know how to say no. Now I think the problem is we don't know how to say no without feeling bad. And I have the answer and I'm going to share it with you right now. Whenever we speak, we speak from a place of fear or a place of love. Anytime you want to to say no all you have to do is make sure that it comes from an honest true place of love you can say thank you but no thank you I'm so sorry but I just don't have time for that today I'm sorry I can't do that for you Or just, no, I can't, sorry. If someone truly loves you, then they will understand. After all, they're asking you a question, which relies on a yes or a no response. So people are asking you knowing that it 50% might be a no. Now when you start to say no, 
it might start to feel bizarre in your body. You might start to feel weird because things are shifting and what's actually happening is you're liberating yourself. You're empowering yourself and you're building back the power that you may have lost somewhere along the line. I remember when I started saying no, I would walk away and feel so mean and rude. But then I started adjusting to that feeling, realizing, no, this is my self-care. This is my self-love. And I am doing this for me because unfortunately, what you are asking of me does not serve me at all. Now I help my friends a lot. I'm always there to lend an ear, a shoulder to cry on, to cook with, to share things with, to talk to. I'm always open. I am just strictly saying sometimes if there is something that you don't want to do, then just Don't do it and always lovingly say, thank you, but I can't. Thank you, but no thank you. You can come up with something else instead of, I don't want to go here, but how about next week we go here instead. I'm sure you can relate to what I'm saying today so that's why this week's mantra I want you to practice lovingly saying no when you lovingly say no to other people you are ultimately saying yes to yourself and we always want more of that always put yourself first because without you showing up at your optimum health then you will never be able to give 100% of yourself and the world needs you the world needs your energy you are the only you in the world you are so unique So I don't want you to feel bad anymore if you do something for yourself. And that includes saying no. Keep in mind your mantra for the week is learn to say no lovingly. Learn to say no as lovingly as possible and ultimately say yes to yourself.